The first element of the periodic table, hydrogen, is just a single proton and electron. But without the energy stored in a molecule of two hydrogen atoms, energy that can be liberated without harmful emissions, has made hydrogen a tempting air quality solution for decades. It burns clean or can be converted to electricity in fuel cells with water vapor being the only byproduct. But to get into the nation's energy mainstream, hydrogen has to overcome challenges in producing and transporting it. It also is a highly flammable material that requires high pressure storage and it has to get past public perceptions of safety. One country knows all the benefits of hydrogen and aims to use it to produce electricity. Can you guess which one? It's Utah. Central Utah is home to solar fields, wind farms, vast geothermal resources, and the transformation of hog manure into renewable natural gas. Now it will be home to the world's largest industrial green hydrogen production and storage facility. It will be near Delta in Millard County in central Utah, which is already home to Enel Green's power plant in Cove Fort, the world's first large-scale power generation facility to successfully combine geothermal with hydropower technology. By the way, the Inner Mountain power plant near Delta is transitioning from coal at its two 900 megawatt units to natural gas and hydrogen. The plant will host two combined cycle units to use those two energy resources in a transition expected by mid-2025. By 2045, it will run purely on hydrogen. Let's see how it works. Because there's an abundance of renewable energy derived from wind and solar, the development of those sources of electricity has to be curtailed. The system isn't being used to its full capacity. The project will take that excess solar and wind capacity, and through a process called alkaline electrolysis, it will separate oxygen and hydrogen from water through 220 megawatt electrolyzers, producing up to 110 tons of hydrogen a day. It's called green hydrogen because it's derived from a renewable power source. So putting that scale in perspective, the entire world has installed about 286 megawatts of electrolyzers. This project alone is going to be 220 megawatts, so it will be nearly doubling the entire world's capacity of electrolyzers to date with one project alone. The other wow factor of this project is the salt cavern storage reservoirs. Those salt caverns will be the largest single storage site for hydrogen globally. Before we continue the video, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and press the notification button so you never miss a new one. So if you did that, let's continue. Remember we mentioned salt domes? Well, the salt domes for storing the hydrogen will be 3,500 feet underground and will be as deep as the Empire State Building is tall, about 1,500 feet. The caverns will enable long duration storage of energy and prevent monthly curtailments of solar and wind energy. Oh, and one more thing. According to the Energy Information Administration, the large hydrogen fuel cell can supply electricity to the grid, supply backup or emergency power in buildings, and supply electricity in places that are not connected to electric power grids. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory said U.S. demand for hydrogen is a little more than 11 million tons a year, and it's primarily used in the industrial sector. But by 2050, a study suggests that domestic demand could grow by as much as 45 million tons a year, especially given its integration in the electrical grid. Given this data, the new entity in Utah could have a lot of potential in business. And why not? Renewable energy is indispensable, and green hydrogen is the ideal solution for preserving the environment and protecting the air. Do you agree with this? There are only a few seconds left until the end of the video. We'll use that to remind you that we'd like to see your comments in the section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell to be notified when the new video is online. Smash that like button and please share the video. That would mean a lot to us because we might get new subscribers that way. Thank you for following us and watching the videos. See you again soon.